this is the, um, uh, let's see if I can show you the whole plant, nothing but the plant. So help me, gardeners. Um, what you're looking at is the uh, Tabasco pepper. I couldn't think of the name. I don't have a tag on this. I got to look for the tag. And uh, this is this was a, a donor from a, another uh, Tabasco plant that I bought from Lowe's. And I cut off a branch. And I rooted that branch. And that branch pretty much just sat there for last year probably since around this time and it just kind of sat there and never grew brought it indoors started to grow a little got some stems and branches and it didn't do nothing and then i finally got it out into the garden as you can see it's a very bushy plant i mean look at the size of this plant is really growing nicely i'm very very pleased with it and um yes you can uh clone pepper plants it's got they take a long time you got to have a lot of patience Okay, so let's start with the stem. The stem is of a smooth, waxy type stem. I do not see any purpling in the stem or the nodes. The leaves are of a small leaf, um, a narrow leaf type. They're just small leaves. They're generally not going to get really big. At maybe, as far as I remember, not with this particular um plant maybe with the original mother plant maybe the leaves will get, have gotten a lot bigger but this plant all the leaves seem to be very small it's kind of pressed up against the door right here but that's because the door's closed <laughs> and I, I'm not opening it yet you, as you can see there's it's prolifically this plant will literally produce hundreds upon hundreds if not thousands of peppers by the end of August, I'll show you this thing at the, towards the end of the year. There will be literally be peppers all over. Um, let me show you flowers. Flowers are quite interesting on this one. Let's see. Where is the flower? I can't see it in the camera. There it is, right there. You can see there's a, literally a pattern on the back side of that flower. It's a slightly green pattern. Here's another one. I'll show you that they're consistent. That pattern will be consistent throughout the flower. Okay, you can see there's little peppers all over the place. Again, this is the Tabasco pepper, so they don't make very big peppers. There's another one. Okay. Right there. I had a bigger one back here somewhere. I don't want to break the plant looking for it. There's one back there. Look at that one. They get around that size a little bigger, maybe double that size. And uh, what else to say about this? You gotta kill spider mite, guys. Uh, what else to say about it? What else to say? Uh, board leaves with the stems. This particular plant's very bushy, and it's roughly around mm, 30 inches, I'd say, but it's very bushed out, so it's not one stem upwards. Uh, it's growing in one pot with four of the, sharing four of the plants. It's sharing a pot with four of the plants. Uh, churn it with a brute jalokia, um, a Trinidad scorpion, and I believe it's another. You see, this branch is even coming out here from this thing's really branched out. The uh, brute jalokia is kind of struggling to get through, but that's okay. I got brute jalokias all over. So, uh, what else? Anything else about the. Uh, Tabasco. Um, what I will say is it's a hot, very, very hot pepper. They say 50,000 on the on the Scoville scales. I, I can't even cut these peppers up to make hot Tabasco sauce. I, my eyes will literally start uh, itching and burning and I start coughing in my throat because it, it's like once you start cutting those things up, they release some kind of a, a fume or something. Um, it, I can't do it without a face respirator on. It's it's the only pepper that really does that to me. Not even the, the Reapers do that to me. But these Tabasco peppers really, they really do a number on me. Um, I start coughing as soon as I cut them. I, I literally start choking. <laughs> it's like something aer aerosolizes when you cut them open. So we'll, we'll do more on that as these peppers mature and they get bigger. But uh, yeah, that's the Tabasco pepper. Okay, this is the Tabasco pepper. I don't have any seed pack for it because it was a live plant. Paid $3 for the plant. Lowe's, 
I bought it at Lowe's. It's a Bonnie's plant or a Bonnie plant. Uh, it was one plant. And Scoville units, they're saying it's 50000 I don't know. My experience is with this thing is when I start cutting these things up, yeah, uh, lot sometimes they put them in a salad, or sometimes I use them in different cooking. Uh, mix it a little bit with hamburger meat, get a nice hot hamburger. I did I do different things with it, um, but I chop them up no no less. It's not like I'm just you know macerating them and then making a um, fermentation out of it to make a hot sauce. That's how you make a hot sauce with Tabasco sauce. I'm not doing that necessarily. I'm chopping them up and kind of eating off them. <clears throat> I mean, I could make a hot sauce, but <clears throat> I, I'm just when I get time, I do it. If I get enough of them, you know, if I get end up with a five-gallon pail full of them, yeah, then it's worth making a hot sauce and it could make a couple other different things out of it, a pepper, a dried pepper out of it. Oh boy. Um. So yeah, it says fifty thousand. When I go to chop these things up, um, I am literally my eyes are burning, my throat is raspy. I'm I start coughing and choking. It's almost as if I inhaled some kind of like pepper dust or something, and um, it just my whole f sensation of it. It's just it literally when you chop these things up, they aerosolize. So it's a very interesting um, aspect to this pepper. I, it's the only pepper that does this to me. Uh, I'll try it again this year and just see. Maybe that was a freak of nature the first time. I don't know. But I chopped them up and I have. It's like it's worse than cutting an onion. This is like getting sprayed in the face with uh, pepper spray. So I don't know. That's just a, a note to make on this pepper. Uh, when you're when you're handling it and if you dry these out and put them inside of a, a coffee grinder to make pepper powder be real careful doing that stuff so I mean I've done other peppers that way and and you can get you can get you can get uh, uh, dosed pretty good with uh, uh, the powder the very fine powder when you open that lid up right after you grind it sometimes it gets you and believe me, it goes in your sinuses and your eyes, everything. So you be real careful if you're powdering this stuff. Um, it's a uh, a Chianti Frutescence. That might have something to do with it as far as it aerosolizing. I mean, I, I honestly don't know. That, that honestly might have something to do with it. Um, but keep that in mind. Just, if you're going to work with these peppers, just remember if you decide to start chopping them up, by hand, it, it it's almost not worth it because the whole the the skin on it's really thin, the meat and skin and all that, and it's full of seeds. So it's really not worth going through that trouble for them. But it, it's better to just make a sauce out of them. But if you decide you're going to work with them and cut them, remember what I told you. All right. So there's your details below. I don't have any seed packs. Uh, Tabasco peppers, Bonnie plants.